Great job here by Johnny V to keep Messier forward on the rail. He's not giving it up. He's he's not pushing him. You see Sir London's being ridden a little bit early out of the gate there. Cabo Spirit's going to run three wide. Smart move by Velasquez there. You see why he's a Hall of Fame jockey. He, he doesn't let Messier lose that inside position. That's key in this spot right here. You see that he does not let Sir London um, get in. I mean... First of all, Messi doesn't need the lead necessarily. I don't think Johnny V said after the race that taking the blinkers off. That wasn't the difference. He just made sure he got his legs underneath him here. Got a little bit of wind early. If you've ever been an athlete or been running, you know it's like you kind of get that, that first little spurt there. That's what he got from Messier. Gets him to calm down pretty nicely on the back stretch. They're going 23-1, and one, and it's pretty pressured. Usually when you see a three-horse pace duel, it's not really a duel so much, but when you see three horses pushing up front like this, yeah, it's a duel. Uh Usually that creates a big fall apart in, in right when they're about here. Right when they're going to the turn. This is usually when you see everybody fall apart. You're going to see Sir London fall apart. Uh, he can't keep up with it. He was asked to run between horses. That's a tough ask. He's never done that before. He's never tried two turns before. Uh, you see the class from Cabo Spirit, a horse who wants you, you know, $575,000 purchase. Big, big ticket price here. As soon as he moved to turf, you saw him turn into a stakes horse. He's trying. He's giving his best here. Victor Espinosa does everything he can to give Cabo Spirit the best chance. In this race, as the owner of training, that's what you hope for. But look at Messier right here. Turn it on. Bam. Velasquez gives him the signal. He says, go. And Messier goes. Now, you see him. He's going to pull out the crop here, but he's not going to use it. He's just going to make sure that Messier knows it's there. Just give him a little reminder. Uh, you see, look at that. Cabo Spirit's clearly second. And look how badly he beats him. Now, here's the problem with these 5 4 standing fields. And great effort there from Messier visually. But when you're watching this as a handicap, you're like, how do I know what he actually beat? How good was that? What did he do? Who did he beat? You look at it. Well, Wharton, that was a Bob Baffert horse that uh, I think was at the top of the turn when, when Messier crossed the finish line there. Uh, Wharton was good, but he what debut sprint winner. Speed figure was okay. Sir London, debut sprint winner. It was okay, the speed figure, but nothing super strong. Cabo Spirit, his best buyer. And this is a horse that's won stakes on turf. His best buyer is not even close to what is going to be good enough to get the job done here so messier gets the job done um but again this is where it's tricky you don't know what he beat it, i want to say it looked great but uh, again he didn't beat anybody here and that's the trouble with these these five horse fields in california uh at least they got five here they got four in the oaks race before listen if you liked messier going into this race i think that you saw some things here you got to see him settle you saw him go quick relax on the back stretch and power home what he needs to and in any horse whether it's bob baffert's or not that's what you want to see now like with the dari manor what we saw with the lost for Jenna stakes earlier she airs messier airs great even if they're if they can do that against everybody the problem is they're with bob baffert and, and regardless of how you feel about him personally it sucks that bob baffert has these wonderful horses and they, we can't see them in the derby we can't see them in the oaks they can't earn points for it uh, they can compete up until those big races against everybody, but they can't be there on the biggest stage. It's like saying you've got a horse that clearly should go to the Breeders' Cup, is going to be really awesome in that division, and can be in all the Breeders' Cup winning year in races, and they can't go to the Breeders' Cup. Like, as a fan, how am I supposed to get excited about that? As a better, well, you can't really get excited either because it was three to five, but they get bigger fields. You know, Messier could go out of town, possibly could stay around for the San Diego Derby with the way that Newgrange seemed to really hate Oaklawn Park, uh, the track there in the Southwest Stakes, which he managed to win. I, that tells me Newgrange isn't going back to Oaklawn. He's probably going to stay at San Anita. Maybe he targets to San Felipe. Maybe he goes to San Diego Derby. Messier could be a candidate to ship out. We've seen him do well at multiple tracks. He wins the Bob Hope Stakes uh, at Del Mar, going seven furlongs. He obviously, he wins here, broke his main at San Anita. And then uh, he's got the, his two losses are at Los Al, but, you know, by a length in, in another one of those spots, I think you can make all sorts of good excuses for him. But listen, this is a horse that clearly, by Empire Maker, out of a smart strike mare, distance, distance, distance. The longer Messier goes, the better he's going to be. Even if he can't go to the Kentucky Derby, uh, this is a horse, if he's Ontario bred, you send him to the Queen's Plate. Million dollars? I promise you those Ontario breds have not seen anything like uh, they'll never see anything like a, a Baffert monster like Messier in the way he looked. Um, if you want a little bit more insight on, on how Messier visually was looking in this spot, I was on America's Best Racing Live earlier today uh, with Ren Carruthers, uh, Dan Torman, and Jessica Paquette. So you can go check that out over on their feed if you'd like to see uh, some more thoughts on or the actual reaction to the race when it was happening live. Uh, for me, this was going over this race. Uh, what to do with it moving forward? Do what the hell do you do with any Bob Baffert horses moving forward? They're going to keep being good. They're going to keep winning these races. And as fans, we just kind of sit here and twiddle our thumbs. So uh, what you can do, go to racenews.com. We've got free picks for every race, every track around the country. 
YouTube channel, youtube.com slash racing news, all sorts of great stuff. Full coverage at the Kentucky Derby Trail, the Kentucky Oaks Trail. Uh, Aaron Haltman is going to join me on Monday to talk about Messier and in full depth about what we think his chances are moving forward. So you've heard my thoughts. You'll get Aaron's thoughts on that. So make sure you tune in. Subscribe to the Racing News channel, youtube.com slash racing dudes. Hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you like it. Tell all your friends. We'll see you at the track. This has been a presentation of RacingDudes.com, your destination for all things horse racing and sports betting. Whether you want free winners, expert insider picks, up-to-the-minute trackside weather reports, or podcasts and videos for bettors of all skill levels, never make another wager without visiting the Racing Dudes first.